moving target. Ah. Was that the last one? Good work. You're out. On to the next. Oh yeah, I really do like shiny, and this thing is shiny. Hi guys, this is Rack and Load, and this is the Dan Wesson 715 CO2 4.5mm pellet and BB revolver. And pretty damn nice it is too, don't you think? Oh yeah. Now you have to excuse... Uh, the reflection of me if you see it in the uh, in the shininess of this revolver I'll try and keep my face out of it do you don't want that spoiling the video but this thing is pretty cool right now before we get into an in-depth rack and load review I shall just reel off the specifications of this little bad boy so you've got hoe grip uh, as ever I'll go into a full in-depth review but let's just read out some of the specs then so barrel length 152 millimeters or six inch as is as is the six inch uh, Dan Weston revolver just like it says on the box I'll show you the box in a minute um, CO2 pellet and uh, steel BB it has got a rifle barrel so it's a little bit more accurate with pellets obviously you know BBs are always a little bit hey ho um, 2.47 pounds or 1.12 kilos uh, it's a bit of a beast it's a bit of a handful to be honest when you do uh, when you do sort of handle this thing you're gonna get about 80 to 100 shots uh, per fill or per 12 gram CO2 cartridge that is housed in the handle. I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, manual safety safety catch, uh, and it's a six shot, and you get these nice shiny brass cartridge or pellet BB holders cartridges. We'll call them cartridges because they do look like, and they are meant to be, 357 Magnum cartridges. So. Let's jump in then. That's all the uh, boring specs out of the way. So, oh, it's very nice, very nice. We have pretty much tested this thing in uh, some hard conditions, you know, in the snow and everything. Uh, you know, CO2 guns are usually a little bit iffy when it's really cold, but this thing's been well, all right, all right. You know, no sort of significant loss of power. Yeah, I know they're low powered anyway. 
um, but it didn't sort of vent its gas or anything like some um, CO2s tend to do if it's really cold um, but this thing really is cool it really does feel a beast now let's take it from the top then so and this is what I like from the from the outset is the actual rubber hogue handle feels really nice really comfortable really really comfortable it just feels good in the hand this thing does and then you've got this shiny finish it's not like a nickel plated finish I don't know what you call this it's sort of, it's like a it's like a dark I don't know I don't know the actual name for it it's just gone out of my head but it's like a I don't know like a dark chrome if that's what you call it I don't know looks cool though I really do like it really really do like it and then obviously this works on CO2 12 gram cartridges and to get to them you just put your put your finger in that little slot there give it a pull and the handle comes off like that and there's your 12 gram CO2 cartridge now this one is empty so I'll take it out now just before I do take it out I'll show you the piece of handle or the side um, that you do take off as far as the handle goes you've got this little thing here and that is to tighten that up to pierce your CO2 cartridge so I'm going to take this one out anyway because I don't think there's anything left in it might go with a little bit of a hiss I think it is completely empty though yeah it is so you pretty much just do that to undo it and get your cartridge out obviously the opposite when you put a new cartridge in drop it in like so get your little allen wrench in that big grub screw and just do it up until it pierces and then you're pretty much good to go and well once you've loaded your pellets up or your BBs obviously but we'll take that out while we're doing that and I'll give you a bit of a sh bit of a look in there feels real good quality this uh, this gun does you know, it feels nice and solid the housing here for the CO2 cartridge feels nice and tough and the handles do feel good they do really feel good not sort of uh, crappy plastic that you sometimes get on these uh, these guns these, these really do feel quite good now once you've uh, obviously loaded up your CO2 close that little allen wrench down and then hook your handle into that bit there if you can see that little thing there that little metal thing hooks in and then you just squeeze the handle back on and good to go and now this is the fun bit well first of all I'll show you this cylinder so to gain access to the cylinder to load this gun up you just press in this thing here press and kind of like pull and the cylinder opens six shots there and it has got an ejector as well now this is where the fun begins loading these cartridges up they are brass cartridges they uh, feel quite nice actually and you've just got like this nylon bit here where you push your pellet or your BB dead easy to do I'll just demonstrate works best with the uh, like flathead pellets or target wad cutters uh, BBs obviously will, will go in there but I find uh, flathead wad cutter pellets work really well in this gun push them in and that's it once you've loaded all your cartridges up it is literally now you, this is another good bit about this gun you can either load them up you know manually like that or you are supplied with speed loader oh yeah let's just get these pellets out of the way speed loader is really cool if you want to use this thing for you know a bit of speed shooting a bit of speed loading uh, it is cool 
pretty much just drop them once you've loaded them up obviously drop all your cartridges in there like so and then give it a push and a turn and then that's it that's them locked in and then obviously open your cylinder uh, this is where I'll probably fail on camera but you basically just push them in like that push oh, it, ain't done. it ain't done it let me do it again push it in that's it like so and in takes a bit of getting used to and you soon get the hang of it but real cool doing that and that's it you load it up obviously I haven't loaded all the uh, cartridges up there close her up and you are good to go single action or double action uh, trigger is quite nice obviously this has got no uh, CO2 in now but feels good quite heavy on the double action but feels nice and it shoots lovely nice good sights on it as well fairly accurate obviously more accurate with pellets BB's a mm, little bit sort of anyhow but uh, it's not bad sort of 10 meters something like that you know good for sort of shooting tin cans and stuff I mean we were uh, shooting sort of steel gongs that we were basically hitting with everything you know from rim fire to shotgun and this that and the other and we sort of threw this uh, this little revolver in the mix as well just to add to the fun uh, but really really nice little gun and it didn't sort of let us down or anything you know like I said at the start of the video didn't sort of vent any gas in real sort of cold weather or anything but uh, really nice but like I was saying the yeah, sights not bad adjustable um, not sort of combat sights more sort of target sights but really not bad not bad at all and I like the way the top of the barrel sort of ripped there that does look cool you've got the Dan West in there 357 Magnum yeah if only wish our gun laws were as good as that so we could have a 357 Magnum revolver obviously without the big coat hanger and the 10 foot barrel on it like we have to in the uh, UK but never mind I won't get into that now but uh, yeah this little Dan Wesson CO2 really not bad at all the retailer about I think they're about £170 here in the UK uh, not a bad price I mean it does feel real good quality uh, and it is to be honest it is pretty pretty good quality to be honest yeah I know it says made in Taiwan but it does feel nice and it is a heavy weight um, you know and you kind of half expect it to be decent you know if uh, this here bloke is putting his name on it you kind of uh, hope it's going to be okay anyway the hammer itself is metal and it's got like this knurling effect on here to give you plenty of grip and it does feel good when you cock this in single action Sometimes a little bit clunky, but I'm sure it'll wear in a little bit. Obviously, it's not going to be as refined as the real firearm, but still, it's not bad. The safety catch is here. It's a manual one. Pretty self-explanatory. Um, in my opinion, uh, not great, uh, but it's all right. I mean, you know, it is what it is, but... Basically, it's just a, like a hammer stop, really. Stops you cocking that hammer. Obviously, stops you pulling the trigger in double action because, obviously, the hammer isn't going to do its cycle. Uh, but it's it's all right, but not great. But then, once you've fired your shots off with this uh, revolver, all six shots, obviously, you're going to want to reload it. Literally, push that down, like I said earlier. And then you've got your ejector here. So you can press that or just tip them up into your hand. I found that the best way. You still probably drop them everywhere like I did. And then nice and empty then. And then back to reloading. The speed loader itself is all polymer. Uh, it's not bad. 
how durable it is and how long it'll last. Uh, pass. Depends how sort of hard you use it. Uh, but I think if you use properly and you know, don't sort of just sort of keep ramming the thing in, you know. I don't know. It'll probably be all right. It feels all right, you know. It feels sort of solid enough. Um, but it's one of those things where time and time will tell. But you can uh, get spare ones of these anyway. And if you're going to do a bit of speed shooting, a bit of uh, fun gun plinking or whatever, I'm sure you'll get several of these anyway. And obviously, more of uh, these. You know, it goes without saying. 715 has its own serial number as well, so you never know. You might purchase this one that's starred in this video. Never know. And you've got like your three jewel sticker there. You'd probably peel that off. I didn't say that though. But yeah, really nice, really nice guys. I'll just give you some close ups. The guts, so to speak. Let's flip it around. Oh, just knocking the camera about. Optics wise, if you wanted to throw on an optic, uh, I believe you can get a rail for it that sort of just screws into there. Obviously you've got to take your rear sight off. Um, but I believe you can get a rail, like a Picatinny rail that will mount on top of it and then you can pretty much uh, throw on a, an optic of your choosing. I'll just show you the barrel there. You just see that it is slightly rifled. Just show you the box, guys. There you go. Dan Wesson 715 6 inch revolver. Takes pellets, BBs, rifle barrel, full metal, easy load, CO2 cartridge system. And then inside the box, pretty much just a polystyrene box. So that's your box. Show you the manual. Manual's pretty good actually. Obviously tells you all your safety do's and don'ts. Uh, nice clear photographs. Really not a bad manual at all. Tells you about the safety catch and how to load your CO2. How to load your cartridges and use the speed loader. Really good. Ah, here's the... Uh, any rail mount that you can get. And I was, thought I'd seen it somewhere. And then accessories that you can get. Obviously, cartridges, lights and lasers and holsters and uh, carry cases for it. Now there you go. That's that looks pretty damn cool with that on. Pretty damn cool. Any different coloured rails. So it is quite pimpable. This gun is. But yeah, as far as the manual goes, not bad. Not bad at all. So there you go then guys. That's your rack and load review of the Dan Wesson 715 6 inch revolver from ASG. Really is not bad at all. Um, and it really does look good as well. But anyway guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. That's your Rack and Low review. See ya.